Hey guys, welcome back to another, well, another, the first episode of Technode Firmacraft. Now, this is a full conversion mod for Minecraft, Terra Firmacraft, as well as some other mods. Um, I did a little bit of running around, that's why I have a few things, but this has, it's a mod pack on the AT Launcher, which I'll have a link to the AT Launcher, and I'll have instructions on how to install the mod pack in the description below. Um, and it is amazing. I have to say I love this mod pack. It's got Bibliocraft. It's got a lot of mods that add some very interesting components to the game. And the coolest thing about it is is that it's not just Terra Firmacraft because just Terra Firmacraft is amazing in a, in its own right, you know. Just base Terra Firmacraft is pretty awesome. It adds a lot to the game, um, and it it really changes the way the game plays. Now, and this is going to be a, a semi, a, a little bit of a tutorial, as well as a little bit of a, this is how you play the game. Like, this is, it's me just experimenting with the game, as well as a, a semi-tutorial. So, I'm going to explain what I'm doing as well as I can. If I forget to explain something, ask it in the comments below, and I'll explain it in the next video that I record. Um, I may record like three or four episodes of this at a time, so you may not you may get to like episode five, and I'll be like, oh, I saw such and such as comment, and this is what I failed to explain. Or in the coming videos, I may explain it or touch on it again. Um, so that's how that's gonna work. Um, and the other thing is, is that there's going to be a lot of things here, and it's going to be a lot of, there's going to be a lot of me cutting, like, I explored and explained a concept, now I'm going to go perform that concept for the next hour, you know, or like, next 20 minutes or something like that. Um, and it's going to be a lot of exploration. I did load up a little bit of the world, which I did, I flew around a little bit in creative just to load the world in a little bit before I got playing because I found that if you run around a lot with Terra Firmacraft it can really slow down so I loaded up the game flew around quit the game out to reset the RAM usage and then to reset RAM and then started recording um, and there's a lot of things in this game that you know there's a lot of caveat caveats in this game uh, so, you can't just punch a tree. I'll, I'll show you real quick. You can't just punch a tree. It doesn't work. Never will. No matter how much you want to try. It'll never work. Um, there's this plant mega pack, which I haven't really played with before. Um, there's a lot of mods in here that I haven't played with. Mostly the Terra Firmacraft related ones. Other than that, I've played with uh, Forestry. I've played with the bees. I've played with butterflies. I've played with a lot of the stuff. I've played with this. I want to get into Pneumatic Craft. Which is going to be kind of interesting because an air compressor is going to need a solid fuel box, which is going to need a bloomery, which is going to need bronze, which is going to need bronze sheets, which is going to need double bronze ingots, and so on and so forth. So, there's going to be a ton of things to do. I mean, this is going to be a very, a very in-depth, like, a very in-depth, very long, um... Uh, Let's play, which should be fun. It's I am expecting like a hundred episodes at least out of this, um, which you know I'm fine with that. Steel pig, high carbon steel, pig iron. I need to get iron, and then I need to shape it like eight times. You know, it's insane. You get, the amount of work that goes into one like one one ingot. Ew, what's that? Ew, what's that? I want to know what that is. What is that? What is it? I want to know. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. <laughs> Ooh, I want that. <laughs> Alright, so for like for our first concepts, we're gonna need sticks. That you get sticks by punching trees as well. You can punch leaves. I'm playing with a little bit of a speed upgrade here. Vein miner. Um, just for trees. I mean really, it doesn't do much else. I only have it set to your hand, so I can only punch leaves. That's about it. Um, so the first things you're gonna want to do is get an axe. Now this is a napping screen. The napping will take two of these, you have to have two of the same rock in your hotbar, 
So if I were to pick up one of these, if I were to have one in my hotbar, I couldn't do anything. But if I pick up another one, it uses up one, and it uses one to turn into a tool. And you just basically, you take out these squares. I mean, there's a list of them on the wiki. I will put a link to the AT launcher, instructions on how to get the pack, and instructions to uh, a link to the wiki so that you guys can see what we're, uh, you know, you can see and you can reference it back. It would be helpful instead of having to rewind the video and watch that again. Um, there's some ways to get, like, a little bit extra out of everything that you're doing, and I do that normally. Then it's really just a it's just a matter of putting it on the tool, you know, just sticking it on a stick. You just axe, shovel, everything's good to go. Done. I picked up some blueberry bushes. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. You can't eat them, which is kind of a problem. Uh, now those are your basic tools. Actually, there's one more basic tool that I need to get, and it's a javelin. Now you want to get a javelin because makes hunting a lot easier and oh god what's the javelin again I for it's that yeah I have these mostly memorized which I don't know if I really want to say that out loud but I have most of them memorized um, throw the sticks on the ground because that works so the javelin is a ranged weapon which you can throw retrieve if it doesn't hit anything um, it's also a tool that you can hit something with, uh, as well as it's it's going to be very, very useful later. Crafting fermented spider eye mushroom powder. I don't know how much that's, how much that's worth, but okay. Dwarf elder. You craft into green dye. It's poisonous. Interesting, don't eat it. Well, let's just put it back down now. So these are just normal shale rocks, grass over shale. Um, at the top of the screen, up there, uh, that's Wayla, and Wayla is going to be very helpful uh, in. Hello, Mr. Bear. Just no, no, not okay. Hummingbird bush. I wonder what you're used for. Not okay, bear. Not okay. Red dye, gross station. No. I don't care about you. Oop. Free rock. Poisonous bushes. So, if this bear doesn't stop following me, I will kill it with impunity. Um, so, this is barley. This is, this is actually a pretty good find right away. That's barley. And with barley, with all of the crops in this game, there are going to be, if I can find them here. Yeah, okay. So, there's... There's a ton. I mean, there's apples, bananas, apples, oranges, just fruit. There's there's uh, fruits, vegetables, and grains, as well as like other things like berries, nuts, tree. There's there's fruit trees. Uh, there's just absolutely a massive amount of things in this game. There's also different types of meat, uh, different types of you know you can cook things differently. You can cook things to your characters. Your character has a like a taste preference. Ow, what the hell was that? Prickly lettuce. Prickly lettuce hurts you. Ugh. Um, and night in this game is excruciatingly dangerous. So, what I think I'll do is I'll dig into a hole and I will wait until daytime and then we'll be back because I don't. You know, I don't think people want to watch me. Sit in a mother. <laughs> Sit in a goddamn it. And that's a problem. That's only leaves above me. And another thing is, is that um, since everything is so much more difficult, dirt. Oh, that's dirt. That's not grass. I'm gonna try and get under this.
I'm not going to be able to do that anytime soon. This is why you craft a knife on the first night. I think I'm safe. I'm not sure. Probably not. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm safe or not. No, I'm not. Okay, and everything has a shit ton of health. Even you do, so... Hmm... Knives do more damage than other things, but... It's still absolutely terrifying to be out here alone. I don't want you to fall in here with me, sir. Please don't. Here we go. Is that willow log disappearing? Please don't tell me that willow log is disappearing. It's disappearing. Okay. So, <laughs> now that I have thoroughly ballsed it up, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut until it's daytime. Most beautiful sunrise in all of Minecraft. I feel like there's something sneaking up behind me, but, okay, we're good, we're good, that is just a kludge together thing, which no one cares about, so. So, over the night time, I realized that I was running out of food, and that I'm also running out of water. That's not a good combo. That's not a good combo at all to have going for you. So, I can take care of the food a little bit. I can take this barley and turn it into barley grain and straw, apparently. I did not know that happened. New version, apparently, I guess. And I can kind of eat this. There's not going to be much here, though. It's going to be enough to get me by for a little while. But it's definitely not enough to survive on. The other thing is, is that there's seasons in this game as well. So, you don't just... It's not just, you know, regular Minecraft, you just plant and go have fun, you know, that kind of thing. Well, with TerraFirmaCraft, you can't just plant things haphazardly and expect them to grow. And I'm going to put you back on a tree because I don't need you right now, at least. You don't... You can't just do that. You have to plant according to the seasons, which, if I turn this off, are here. Early summer, June, day... Date is the 3rd of June, year 1000. Hour 6. So, here's your inventory. This is your skills, which is pretty interesting. There's actually skills that increase your probability of doing something nice, slash other things. They improve the quality of, like, tools that you make if you have a high smithing level, and other such things. Other such things that I don't know about right now. Um... Okay, here we go. This is some good water. So, this is fresh water. Over there, with all that ocean, is salt water. Now, if you know anything, you can't drink salt water. Ooh, sailor. So, these are, these are going to be, these hour are small bits of ore that are going to appear on the surface. Now, you can't make a stone pickaxe. That's just not allowed in this, because... I don't know. Because it makes more sense than making a stone pick. So, with an empty hand, you can drink. I'm, like, all over the place right now. With an empty hand, you can drink from fresh water, and with a jug, which I will make later on once I get, you know, an, an area that I, I think I will like as a home... Oh god, that scared the shit out of me. I thought there was a cave underneath me. Grass can randomly fall out from underneath you and kill you. Stinkhorn. What? Fermented spy- I'm not even gonna touch that. No, nope, I'm out. <laughs> I'm gone. Now, an easy way to tell what type of water is what is... 
salt water will have seaweed in it. It'll have this big seaweed, and this horse is gonna die. I'm sorry, everyone. I have to kill something with a with a hide. I'm sorry, Mr. Horse. Probably the best thing I could have ever done. They gave me a horse meat, which has 41 ounces of meat on it, which is pretty impressive. That's a lot of food. Just for reference, that that little thing of that little piece of grain that filled me up like two bars almost was like three ounces of grain, maybe. Ooh, limonite. So limonite is iron. Sphalerite turns into, which any eye will tell me, is zinc. So that's kind of nice. Um, I could live, I could live without the small limonites. I think they're nice to have, for sure. And this is a cattail, so these cattails will tell you that it is fresh water or seagrass. I guess I don't know. I don't know what they're they're cattails to me. I call them cattails. Uh, golden rods will show you that there is clay underneath them. Golden rods spawn on top of clay. Uh, there's just little things that you'll notice um, about this mod pack. You know, like these spawn here, these spawn here. This means this. This means this kind of thing. And you'll slowly start to you'll slowly start to just start to mem you'll just start to memorize the game. Uh, I've played. I've been playing uh, Terraform Craft 4 a very, very long time, and I've realized that I'm starting to memorize the game a little bit. My key bindings are a little messed up, so I'm kind of punching the keyboard a lot. And I'm noticing something here. So I think I noticed that beforehand, but I can't remember what it was. And if it's something important, I definitely want to mark it. And it looks pretty discolored compared to the surrounding rock. And I was looking up what spawns in shale, and I'm thinking it's going to be iron. S is telling me that it's going to be iron. Yeah, it looks like iron. It looks like limonite. But, I mean, all the ores are going to look just about the same. So I'm just going to mark this here as ore. I don't really care what group it's in, because there's going to be just an absolute ton of markers for this game. And that's going to be a thing is because I want to know, like, this area up here has a ton of shale. This is all rolling hills. This is all shale up here. Now, I need to get to another biome, one that has more copper. I need copper so that I can make a copper pick. Now, aside from... Oh, God. They need to shut up already. I need to move them out of here. It's going to be the end all. Ooh, bismuthite. Bismuth, bismuthite. Uh, yellow bell peppers mature. I'll take those, definitely. Yellow bell pepper not quite grown. Oh, green. Okay, so. There's going to be a lot of this. It's just going to be a... It's, my inventory is going to be cluttered until I get um, somewhere where I can offload some of this stuff. Now, bismuth is going to be easy. Is going to make my life a lot easier because I can make bismuth bronze, so I don't need as much copper. I can take the max of this and this and this. I have zinc, so I have two pieces of zinc. I have enough for the lowest percent, so that's 20. 20 is 40. 50 to 70 percent of it needs to be cop uh, copper, 20 to 30 percent needs to be zinc, and 10 to 20 percent needs to be bismuth. So I have enough bismuth for two ingots right now, which is very nice. Um, and it's, it's something that you really need to do. You really need to get like these ores going as soon as possible because without the ores, you're not going to be able to advance ever, really. You can't you can't find things in dungeons, you can't... There's no, like, hidden hidden treasure chests or anything like that. Uh, 
that you could find some of these things in. And I'm just gonna grab these blueberry bushes just because I can. I'm starving again, so let's uh, let's learn how to cook. That's probably not a bad idea. This actually isn't like a bad area right here. So we're gonna want to start a fire. Now, fires in Terraformer Craft are a, a much different matter than fire in regular Minecraft. You have a fire starter, and then you have sticks. You throw three sticks on the ground, and you hope to God that you can light it. Now, there's a few ways to, to increase your chance of lighting a fire. You can put more sticks down. That helps. Oh, and you can you can light mat you can light sticks on fire in there to make torches. And, oh my God, my frame rate's dying. So I need to find a very very soft tree. I'll take this aspen tree out. And cutting down trees is a pain. Basically, you're in the, like a Neolithic kind of age. You're a hunter gatherer. You're cutting down trees very crudely. You're it's just a very crude age. You're you're looking for a place to settle down. You're exploring, you're trying to find you're trying to find a home basically is what this part of the game is all about. There we go. Start cooking that. So you can eat meats raw, I believe, or you can eat them cooked. But the other thing is that you're gonna get sick from it. Everyone knows that you get sick from eating raw meat, especially something, you know, that you you don't know where it came from or something like that. Another thing is is that I can eat these, and these are gonna be like two bites. And these are five ounces. They're barely anything. So you really you really want to get this. Meat, you really want to get some kind of like food source like you want to find a why is it bright red? I'm not even gonna ask it's medium rare right now. It's medium. I'll just take it medium whatever Reclaim my wood eat my horse meat. Sometimes it freaks out like this. It's a little bit of a bug. I guess uh, with some of the um Whoa, what is up with it? Uh, it's because I'm loading up more chunks, I guess. I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, those are absolutely pointless. Uh, garlic. I could use the garlic. Later on, I could really use... You want to kind of gather up as many seeds as possible early game, because you're only going to find these seeds in certain places. And the more seeds you have, like... When I go to, when I go to get off after you know after I'm done recording and everything, I'm gonna get off, and you know maybe I'll make a server of this you know just you know so I can offload some of the work from my client obviously which would be very nice. Whoa, that's a drop. I'd suck to fall in there. Oh god. Rye, that's helpful. Now all of these, this will help me tame animals as well. See, there's that ore again. I wanna know what that is. Oh shit. No, 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 no. No. This game is much harder than you'd think. You think, oh, you can just, you know, beat him up. You can hit a skeleton with your fist and kill him in regular Minecraft, but with Terraformer Craft, it's just everything's got so much more health that it just can't do it. It's just, it they hurt you too much. And especially those skeletons. Those skeletons are quite possibly the most painful thing in the entire game. Oh, again with the nighttime. I don't like nighttime. I guess you know what I could do is I could just do this, like. I can just do that. That works. That works. I mean, in a very crude sense, it works. 
So I've got what, like 39 ounces of garlic? Ugh. It's a lot of garlic. But, so, I mean, we made it through a few days here. Uh, we didn't get, we got quite a bit done considering uh, everything that's been going on here. And I feel like this would be a good place to, to wrap up say this first episode in our second night we'll try and do like two days two days i guess of survival or like the equivalent of two days like try and get these episodes like 15 20 minute 20 to 20 to 30 minutes long just so they're not too terribly long but guys thanks guys for watching and as always i will see you guys in the next episode of our technode firma let's play our survival survival of the fittest kind of let's play and uh thanks for watching